Some of the staff asked me if I would shoot some pigeons if I could. So I'm going to sit here. I'm over a water hole. I'm going to wait for a warthog. But if a warthog doesn't come, or even if it does, um, even if I'm waiting, I'm going to keep shooting with this uh, Umar X-22. The gun's uh, really quiet. It's accurate, powerful. So I figure I'll shoot a few pigeons. And uh, even if warthogs are coming in, I can see them from far enough away that I'll see them before they hear me shooting. So it's, uh, it's another good reason to have a, a low sound signature on a gun even when you're out in the wide open places and I am in the wide open places I'll put this up to the window and let you look. The blind was about 20 feet above and about 20 yards away from a water trough. This is a working ranch and they have small water holes and stock tanks scattered about the property. There's an array of bird life that comes in such as these glossy starlings the doves and pigeons that come in provided some shooting when things were slow and are great table fare to boot. In years past, we'd shot hundreds of these pigeons and doves doing pest control at the feedlots, but here it was just a few for the pot. I took the first bird with a head shot, and as he hit the water, a red-headed bobbit came in seemingly undaunted. The next one lucked out as I shot right behind his head. The thing about headshots is they tend to be either clean hits or clean men. Another headshot and another bird down. But an insult to injury was still to come. I was enjoying my shoot with the gauntlet. It had the accuracy and was quiet enough not to disturb the area. A couple more birds and I was ready to head back to the house for breakfast. I've got the gauntlet and 22 with me out in South Africa. Um, I was hunting a blind today for warthog and uh, didn't see any warthog come in but there were a lot of pigeons. I brought my small game gun, I brought this out with me and uh, bagged a few. Um, the uh, the guys who live on the, uh, the farm, the uh, staff, um, make use of them. So the Walther Gauntlet, uh, very accurate, hits hard. Um, I was able to shoot out anywhere from 20 to 60 yards with no problem. I was trying for headshots mostly, and mostly that's what I got. Um, this gun really does a trick. It's, uh, it's regulated. The consistency is mind-blowing. Shot to shot, hardly varies at all. Um, high shot count. I... Uh, I didn't shoot that much, but I've got probably another week's worth of shooting at this rate uh, in this, this gun on a single fill. I'll tell you about this, uh, more about this gun a little later, so come on back and we'll take a closer look at it. Later that afternoon, I sat a hay bale blind Robert and I had built a couple days earlier to shoot guinea fowl from. No guinea fowl showed up, but a group of Egyptian geese came in. Andrew told me to aim for the forward white spot. I did, and hit him square on it. The big bird popped up and dropped right back down. He's down. Yeah. He's down. I hiked the 60 yards out, and the bird was DOA when I got there. Okay, here we are, shooting the uh, Umarex Gauntlet 22 caliber PCP air rifle. This gun has a lot to offer. It's a regulated PCP that's uh, designed at a price point that's really unbelievable for the feature um, set that you get with it. Smooth as butter, cocking with the, uh, the bolt action. It's got a proven magazine uh, that automatically indexes each time you, you cycle the bolt. Um, gun is powerful, it's accurate, it's quiet, did the job. It's been my small game gun on this trip to South Africa. This was my last outing. We came out to the, uh, to the farm here uh, in a pasture area that has winter grass growing and these Egyptian geese have been a bit of a pest here. So uh, I've come out a couple nights and, and uh, shot them. But this one uh, went down at 60 yards. It uh, fell over as you see in the, uh, the video. Really happy with, uh, with this. <music>